two, I dare say out of all the champagnes I've had, I've probably drank the most number of bottles of this than anything else. This is one of my favorites. I, 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 there are incredible champagnes out there. There are champagnes that are incredible expressions of their grape, of their terroir, of their culture, of their family, all of this and that, and, and they're all great champagnes. But the Tullier Blanc de Blanc, man, this is just my, it's my favorite. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, this is on the scale of one to 10 on everyday drinkability. This is the 10. Now, there are other 10s, but this is the 10. It is, man, it is crisp, it is light, it is warm at the same time. It, 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 you drink it and you instantaneously are made to feel comfortable. Things just are better when you drink this. And like I, I've said before, I got an amazing opportunity to spend a week at you know the Tullier uh, farm and took part in their harvest. And you know, you always have a special connection with the place when you actually walk the vines, pick the grapes, press the grapes, taste the juice. I mean, like I, I did a whole video, and I'm still still sifting through a lot of the, the the videos and the data to produce more videos from my trip. But you know, take a look at some of those videos, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And then you'll understand the connection I have to this champagne. Um, so with that, let's just dive in and get started and have, uh, let's, let's have some fun with this because it's been a long day today and I'm kind of looking forward to having a little bit of a uh, reprieve from the day's activities and things like that. So while I'm opening this, I'll share a little bit with you. 2023, uh, just so you know, I, I celebrated a milestone birthday this past January. And let me tell you something, uh, my birthday is January 6th. And for all my friends here in America, we all know that January 6th is a day that will live in infamy. But uh, hell of a birthday present, you know? But this year, um, I had some amazing friends fly in from the East Coast to come and celebrate. And one of my dear, dear friends, my oldest friend, sent me overnight two dozen oysters and three pounds of clams.